the light. Amen. And because of your stiff neck, because of your bad spiritual disposition, God said, okay, I'll fix you. I'll show you what I'll huh? God said, we're going to turn to the Gentiles. Huh? But we're going to, I'm going to make a, this is a turning point, God. Huh? Are y'all with me here? Said, I, I need you to understand something. If you won't accept it, I know somebody that will. Come on, somebody. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you don't want him, somebody else will sure will take him. Amen. Somebody else will take him and fix him up. Y'all no, ain't helping me. Somebody else. Amen. Oh, yeah. Somebody else will take him and put a bottle if I have hundred on him. Oh, yeah. Oh, you wouldn't think it'd be the same joker. But I tell you, once you get a Hickey Freeman on, amen, and some stasis, amen, and a bow tie, look like somebody straight out of a GQ magazine. That thing, you might all have to took a little more time, amen, and help fix him up yourself. Are y'all with me here? Rather than turning him over to somebody else. But listen. God said, I'll turn my gospel over to the Gentiles. Yeah. Have I got a witness here? In other words, God said, I'm going to show you something about priority. I'm going to show you something about purpose. I'm going to show you something about my power. How I will move in your midst. I'm almost finished. What he said, for so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I've set before thee a light to the Gentiles. All right, all right. Are y'all with me here? Yeah. Thou should be salvation unto the end of the earth. Yeah. In other words, don't mistake it this morning, brothers and sisters. Yeah. They turned their back as Paul was preaching. Right. And I still hear that today. Yeah. Folk will try to deplete and uh, they'll try to break up and divide God's word. Yeah. They'll say stuff like, well, only Paul said that. Y'all yeah. don't hear me that. Yeah. Uh, that, that that's Paul saying that. Uh, Jesus ain't saying that. That's just Paul saying that. Uh, and the people will kind of throw that, amen, little tension off in the mix to try to get the size, amen, lose focus and, and sidestep the real issue here. The real issue is this is the gospel that God had given to Paul to give to the Gentiles. Then and now, that's the same gospel. Have I got a witness here? In other words, that same gospel that converted those Gentiles. The same gospel that converts Gentiles and all men today. Have I got a witness here? So you need to recognize that it's important that you don't turn your back on the truth. Turning your back on the word of God. Turning your back on the eternal truth is a dangerous precedent. It's dangerous then and it's dangerous now. Says something about apostasy and the spirit of apostasy that meanders and moves throughout the church today. Have I got a witness here? And apostasy and apostates are those, are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Who once have seen the light, but they have rejected the light. You hear what I said? I'm, I'm closing. I said apostates. Oh, they have received the light, but they reject the light. Have I got a witness here? In other words, apostates don't leave the church. They leave the truth while they're at church. And what you need to understand this morning is a dangerous thing. Amen. To be lackadaisical and to be nonchalant when the gospel is going forward. Yeah. I found out some years ago that the gospel will draw you or it will drive you. Are y'all with me here? In other words, it will turn you around. Yeah, or it will turn you out. And some folks don't want a turning point gospel. They want to turn up gospel. 
miss me right there. In other words, you want a gospel that makes you feel good. You don't want a gospel that's going to fill you up. In other words, you want a gospel that makes you happy. But then you need a gospel that's going to make you joyful. And that's what I want to share with us this morning. That we are in the midst of a turning point situation. Yeah. And the Lord wants all of us to understand that he's not tired of us receiving the gospel. And you got to make it known this morning that the gospel is the power of God to everyone that believes. To the Jew first. And also the Greek. But then also to everyone that believes. Yeah. Yeah. Have I got any help in here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about a turning point gospel. Yeah. A gospel that's going to get you off of the wobbly road. Yeah. And place you on a solid foundation. Yeah. To where you can stand boldly and proclaim. Yeah. Yeah. That for God I live. Yeah. For God I'll die. Yeah. He's worthy of the praise. Yeah. And I can't help but thank him this morning. <laughs> because it was the gospel that got me in here. Yeah. Y'all don't hear me this morning. It was the gospel that sobered me up. Yeah. It was the gospel that brought me in out of the boulevard. Yeah. It was the gospel that told me to go on home and know that it's the Lord got work for you to do. Yeah. I wish I had a witness up in here. Yeah. It is the gospel, brothers and sisters, that told me that I need to marry that little woman over there. It was the gospel that told me, take care of your family. Show them and raise them in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Yes. What did that brother preach? The gospel did that. The gospel this morning. Show me how to love my enemy. The gospel this morning. Show me how to witness to those that scandalize my name. The gospel this morning is teaching me how to love those that hate me. They want to see me fail. They want to see me prosper. But I'm here this morning. Good morning. By the grace of God. Have I got a witness here? I'm here this morning by the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I don't know about you, but if you're looking for a reason to praise God, don't look back. Look forward. If you're looking for a miracle, look this way. If you're looking at somebody who was on their way to hell, amen, with an introverted personality. But the Lord reached way down. I said way down. Some of y'all looking like he didn't reach that far for you. But I come to tell you this morning, he reached way down in the muck and the mire. Lifted me up. Hallelujah. And ever since that day, I've been running for Jesus. And guess what, church? I ain't tired yet. I reached a turning point. I no more long abound, but I'm bound for Mount Zion. I wish I had somebody in here that don't mind praying in the day. Has the Lord done anything for you? Has He made a way for you? And you open doors for you. You might be helping somebody. In there. You might want to surprise the devil and stand up and give God a praise. Oh, I know it's all right. Lost time. Have I got a witness? I said, won't he do it? Won't he set you down? Maybe, maybe he'll lay you down. But I found 
find out the same God that lay you down. Thank <laughs> you. 